Hello and welcome back. We are still in our chapter 1 of biology, which talks about nutrition. And as we mentioned uh, the last time, today we'll talk about the phototensis. And before starting talking about phytosynthesis, we must mention that all the living organisms need energy in order to grow and maintain their bodies, reproduce, and so on. And this energy is the chemical energy that the living organisms get through the food, which originally is made of the chlorophyll, or The chlorophyll, which is found inside the chloroplast of the plant through the photosynthesis process. So we can imagine how the photosynthesis process is very important for all the living organisms on the earth. So the photosynthesis process has two main importances. Important. The first one is its importance for all the living organisms to get the food. So the humans depend on the photosynthesis process as they get the food through the meat or through the plants. The plants carry out the photosynthesis process directly and the meat is from the animals who eat the plants or which eat the plants that carry out also the photosynthesis process. The other thing is the economical importance for the photosynthesis process because we can notice that plants are very important in the industry so that the plant fibers are used in textile industries or there are also another products such as fats alcohol vinegar and all of them are very important in the industrial life of man and though affecting its economy. So the photosynthesis also have a very important economical importance. Another thing we have to know is the fuel and the natural gas But them originally are made of photosynthesis. But how? Well, thousands of years ago or millions of years ago, plants carry out the photosynthesis process. They carry out the photosynthesis process and then they were buried under layers of sedimentary rocks or layers and after being exposed to a great heat and temperature, they were transferred into fuel and natural gas on which the economy nowadays depends on and there's no car that doesn't run on fuel or petrol or natural gas. So the photosynthesis resembles a great importance for all the living organisms on the earth and we cannot imagine the life without the transformation of the light energy into chemical energy the photochemical energy or the light energy to the chemical energy so this is the importance of the photosynthesis which is mentioned at the beginning of this part in our chapter well, let's talk about another thing after knowing the importance of the photosynthesis for the humanity and all the other living organisms. We have to know what are the requirements that the plant needs to carry out the photosynthesis process. Well, we have the first thing, of course, water. 
and carbon dioxide and others. We knew before that that the water and the carbon dioxide are main requirements that the plant needs to carry out the photosynthesis process. But why? We will know why the plant needs the water and the carbon dioxide and the others. Well, the water is the main source of hydrogen for the plant. Because the plant splits the water molecule, as we all know, the water molecule is H2O. So it splits the water molecule to get the hydrogen. So the water is considered the main or the only source of hydrogen for the plant to carry out the photosynthesis process. And the plant needs the hydrogen in the process of the formation of the carbohydrates. Is, this is the first step of the formation of the carbohydrates. We will talk about the formation of the carbohydrates later in our chapter. Also, here the carbon dioxide is the only source of, the, of carbon for the plant. So, the plant uses both of carbon and hydrogen to form carbohydrates. So we talked about those two. The last thing here is the others. Well, the others here are salts. And we have examples for these salts here mentioned in our chapter. is nitrates, phosphates, and sulfates. Nitrates, phosphates, and sulfates are important in the conversion of the carbohydrates into proteins from the carbohydrates into proteins. To proteins. The second thing in the salts is the phosphate or phosphorus. Phosphorus is important in the formation of the molecules that carry the hydrogen during the formation of the carbohydrates. Phosphates or phosphorus is important for carrying the hydrogen in the process of the formation of the carbohydrates. The third thing is magnesium And it's important in the formation of the chlorophyll. As we all know the importance of, of the chlorophyll in the photosynthesis process. So, and the fourth thing is the iron. And it's used in the manufacture of some enzymes that speed up the process of the formation of carbohydrates. So those are the four mentioned things in the part of salts. So the requirements of a plant to carry out the photosynthesis, they are the water, because it's the only source of hydrogen. Carbon is the only source of carbon. Carbon dioxide is the only source of carbon. And some mineral salts such as nitrates, phosphates and sulfates that are used in the conversion of the carbohydrates into bradon. We have also phosphorus, which is important in the formation of the molecules that carry the hydrogen atoms in the formation of the carbohydrates. 
we have magnesium, which is important in the formation of the chlorophyll, and at last we have the iron, which is used in the manufacture of some enzymes that speed up the process of the carbohydrate formation. And that was our part today. I think it's easy, but you must memorize the four or the three requirements for the photosensors. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.